Well, new improvements to Ishpeming's aging sewer pipes are on the horizon. Plans are entering the final stage of approval after the city received a large grant. And TV6's Clint McLeod breaks down the proposed work and when you can expect construction to start. This is just one damaged sewage pipe in Ishpeming. The city says these pipes are anywhere from 40 to 90 years old. The proposed construction will replace about 25,000 feet of sewer mains. A lot of the aging infrastructure, the storm or the sanitary sewers that are cracked and uh, have a lot of infiltration from tree roots, uh, just old age pipes. The city will implement a dig once policy when going underground. Ishpeming received more than $16 million in funding. Half of it is grant money from the American Rescue Plan. Eight million of that is in a true grant, no cost to residents, and the other eight is on a 30-year 1.875 loan rate. Cugini says the proposed improvements will decrease the stress on the Ishpeming wastewater treatment facility with less groundwater seeping into the plant. We believe that the reductions of the groundwater getting into the plant will also be uh, can put to the cost of the additional loan. So overall, we don't think it's going to be very much, if any, uh, real experienced pricing to the, the residents. The main issue is when you get like a massive snow melt or a rainfall event, um, all those cracks that are in the sides of the pipe, they allow water to infiltrate into the pipe, which is a, a big burden on the wastewater treatment plant. Cugini says the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy needs to approve the project. Then the city will release which roads will be dug up, hopefully by October. Cugini expects the project to take at least a year and hopes digging will begin come spring. Clint McLeod, TV6 News, Ishpeming.